الحمد لله رب العالمين والعاقبة للمتقين ونحن على ذلك من الشاهدين اللهم لك الحمد حمدا يوافي نعمه يكافي مزيدا اللهم صل وسلم وبارك ومجد وكرم وعزز وفضل على هذا النبي الكريم وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم تسليما بقدر أزمة ذاتك في كل وقت وحين فاعلم أنه لا إله إلا الله لا إله إلا الله سيدنا محمد رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم قال تعالى في كتابه الكريم بعد أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إنما المؤمنون إخوة وقال تعالى في كتابه الكريم واعتصموا بحبل الله جميعا ولا تفرقوا واذكروا نعمة الله عليكم إذ كنتم آداء فألف بين قلوبكم فأصبحتم بنعمته إخوانا وقال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم مثل المؤمنين في توادئهم وتراحمهم وطعاتفهم كمثل جسد إذا اشتكى منه عدو تداع له سائر الجسب السهر والحمى My brothers and sisters in Islam Today in our society we see the spread of hate among members within our community. This type of hate we see within our own homes, within our, our places of worship, we see it within our societies, we see it in our workplace, we see it in our day-to-day -day interaction with people. Our religion, the religion of Islam, advocates love for all, and the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, he spoke about the harm of harboring hate in our hearts that is directed towards others. As Muslims, we are not supposed to harbor hate in our hearts and allow ourselves to hate others. Despite how we may perceive that person, despite how we may look at that person's action that Islam advocates that we should love the creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. For the creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was created by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and fashion by him Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So therefore, we should love all the creation of Allah and if we do develop hatred in our hearts, we should direct that hatred towards the actions that we see emanating from the creation of Allah that is considered to be blameworthy. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He created our hearts to be the vessel that carries that which is pure and to love and not to hate. And today we see the effects of hate within our society. The disunity among communities, the breaking up of homes, The family mechanism is destroyed because of this element of hate that we allow to harbor, that we allow as people to somehow affect our actions and the way we carry ourselves. And therefore, let us remember when it comes to our fellow brothers and sisters, the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, he said, مَثَلُ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ فِي تَوَادُئِهِمْ وَتَرَاحُمِهِمْ وَتَعَاطُفِهِمْ 
the similitude of a believer. The similitude of the believers in their love and their compassion and their affection for one another is like a single body. If a part of that body aches, the entire body is affected with fever and with pain. So when we direct this type of hate towards others, we are hurting them. And when we hurt someone with our words or with our actions because we hate that person, it should affect all of us. People become isolated when we hate them. They feel somehow when we direct hate towards others and we target those people that we hate, you're affecting that person, but you yourself is affected even more because your life will be miserable. And therefore, we should not be people who allow hate to build up inside of us. We are told by the Prophet Muhammad wasallam that they will be people neither prophets nor martyrs. And they will have a, a prestigious position in the day of Yom Al-Qiyamah. And the companions ask, who are they? Who are those people that will have this prestigious position on the day of Yom Al-Qiyamah? And the Prophet Muhammad responded by saying, هم أقوام تحابوا على غير أرحام بينهم وعلى غير أموال يتعاطفونها يتعاطونها sorry that the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said these are the people who love each other without any connection blood connection. There is no family ties. But despite that there is no family ties, you love that person. You do not hate that person. And you do not have any motive behind building that bond and showing the gesture of kindness towards that person. So there is no material benefit from that. And such a person that extend that olive branch to others, open up, opening up their arms and showing that love, what happens is that they will have a prestigious uh, position on the day of Yom Al-Qiyam. And therefore, inshallah, allow me as we continue our discourse to highlight some of the characteristic of people who are considered to be haters. What are some of the signs of people that hate? And as I share with you these signs, it is important for you to reflect on them and see where you fall and see are these signs something that you need to work on? Do you find these signs within you? And how you can deal with them? How can you deal to rid yourself from them? So the first sign this is that a person that hates, they go out of their way to dig information about people. That a person that harbor hate, hatred inside of them, directing towards others, that you will find that person going out of their way to get tiny bits of information about someone 
to smear that person's character. To know about that person, to use that information against that person. You spy on that person. You do everything in your, your midst and your power to get information, to use it against that person. And if you find yourself doing that, dig in and trying to get information about someone because you want to hurt that person, then know that you are a hater. For Islam does not allow us to delve into someone's affair to somehow get information about that person's personal life for you to smear his character or her character or the identity. Now the other important thing that we also want to mention is that a person who is a hater, you will find yourself as a hater wanting to be looking at the success of that person rather than looking at your own success. You're concerned about someone else's success rather than concerning on your own success. So you look at the person and when they're successful in their life, you're not happy. You follow the person's path. You're obsessed about the person. You're obsessed about the person and their achievement. And despite it is a positive thing for someone to somehow be successful in life, the person's success becomes your failure. Know that you're a hater if you're not happy for someone's success. Or if you're spending your day and your hours to think about someone else's achievement rather than thinking of your own achievement. As Muslims, we must be people who often show joy and happiness for someone else's accomplishment. Do not use your time to bring down people. Do not use your time to ridicule anyone or debase someone. Or work against someone but rather be that person that encourages others with your good words your encouragement in terms of being that support to that person and when they're successful in their life you pray for them and you motivate them And try to use them as an example to motivate your own life. Do not harbor hate for such a person. Now the third thing is that when you are a hater, you will hardly have anything good to say or constructive to say about people about that person that you hate. Despite what good that person may have done in their life, you will never say anything good about that person. You will always look at that person as a bad person. Because you hate that person. They can be an upright person. 
they could have done something that is good but you never recognize the good of people if you're a hater and today within our society we see that sometimes we stifle our conscience and do not try to accept the fact that we see in front of us because we hate that person we are allowing a barrier to come between us and and that person because we hate that person we can see beyond our hate and we allow our hate to somehow hinder our thinking process we allow our hate to hinder our vision so our vision becomes blurred so a person that hates would never say something constructive or good about other people always you will you will be pessimistic you will always say bad things about someone no if you do that and you have that trait then you are a hater so be cautious another important thing then a hater does not have the time or not willing to adapt with the times and the changes a person that hates always stick to their own ways not willing to change not willing to adapt to changes that may occur around them not willing a person that hates is not willing to explore they're always locked in a box they're confined confining their thinking no vision and whenever they're called out they're always angry and upset and understand that a person who's a hater is someone that is rid from God because if we have God in our lives if we have Allah in our lives then hate would not be something that we harbor because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with his presence in our lives every negative thing goes away becomes insignificant our way of thinking becomes different our approach to life becomes different the way we look at people that wrong us are different Today in our society, we allow hate to change our life dynamics and how we do things. We choose not to talk to someone despite we don't know that person. We choose not to interact with someone because we hate that person despite we don't know about that person because that person is different than us because that person may not share your view or sometimes we hate people because we see that that person cannot help us in our own personal goals in life our minds are aligned to certain things that we want this is what we want to achieve and if people cannot help you in that process you hate that person so if you can't benefit from someone you hate that person unfortunately this is the way it goes so our religion is a very beautiful religion the religion of Islam is a religion 
that advocates love. And our Prophet Muhammad wasallam, he mentioned to us that we should not hate and that we should not envy and we should not turn our faces, our backs or cut off our fellow brothers. We should not hate, we should not envy, nor we should turn nor should we turn our backs away from others, our brothers. Meaning that we should not boycott our brothers and our fellow human beings. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala He tells us that when we see people that are ignorant, even to that point, just say salam to them and turn away, but with a smiling face. So what we are seeing in society today in terms of groups of people hating another group is not what our Islam advocates. We may see things happening around us that we do not like. But let us remember where is your heart in all of this? We should not hate someone because of their color. We should not hate someone because of their religion. We should not hate someone because of the religion that they adopt and the teachings that they, they choose. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will deal with people for whatever they have done, but as Muslims, we always love. We always love. Repel an evil act with a good act. Repel hatred with love. Counteract hatred with love. This is the teachings of our Prophet I think the world would become a better place if we start to love each other for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Today we see the hate crime that is directed towards specific religious groups, whether it is Muslims, the rise of Islamophobia, hate that is directed to Muslims specifically because of what they follow or they choose to adhere to. And this is what we see. This is what we see. The rise of Islamophobia after September 11, and also the rise of violence and bigotry that is directed towards our Sikh brothers. We see the rise of anti-Semitism. We see the rise of hate and acts of violence that is directed towards the African-American brothers and blacks in general. We see hate that is directed towards the Asian communities, the Latino communities, and minority groups. And we should be a voice of calm and a voice of peace and a voice of love. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us, Ya ayyuhan nas, inna khalaqnakum min dhakarim wa untha wa ja'alnakum shu'uban wa qaba'ila li ta'arafu inna akramakum inda Allahi atqaqum. O mankind, we have created you from a male and female and made you 
into nations and tribes, so that you may know each other. Indeed, the most honorable among you are, the mo are, are those that are mindful of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. There is no difference between an Arab and a non-Arab. There is no superiority between an Arab and a non-Arab. A colored and a non-colored. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not look at the complexion of our skins, but He looked at the state of our hearts. I pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will make us people that subhanallah that constantly spread the word of peace through our actions and always show our love be loving in our words and in our actions to those around us may Allah protect us and protect our family members بارك الله لكم في القرآن العظيم ونفعنا وإياكم بذكر حكيم إنه تعالى جواد كريم برع فرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته